Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about a subject that if you're a photographer, it's really gonna help in your direction with models and with subjects. And if you're a model or a subject, it's really gonna help with your posing. It's called foreshortening. The world that you see around you right now is in 3D. But when we look at a photograph, it's actually in 2D, it's flattened. So with our eyes, we're seeing like in a 3D perspective, so we can understand distance and length, whereas the camera can only really see in, in two dimensions. So this will actually cause a lot of distortions or it can cause a lot of distortions in your photographs. I'm gonna talk about three different examples. The first example is a really common one. Have you had a photo taken of yourself and thought, wow, my legs are really short? What's happening is we're shooting the subject from a downward perspective and it makes their legs look a lot shorter than they actually are. So we want to avoid that. If anything, we want to try and make our bodies look longer and taller and make everything just nice and long. And so in order to fix that, you want to shoot from an upward angle and this will just elongate the entire body. My second example has to do with if our arms are in the foreground. So if our arms, if we're doing a pose with our arms in the foreground, you want to make sure that you're thinking two dimensionally and that your full arm is in the shot. Because if your arms are forward, your hands and your forearms and your elbows are gonna appear a lot larger than they actually are. So you wanna pull those back so that actually your shoulders are in line with your elbows and then maybe open it up so that you can have a full perspective of your arm. My third example is one that I, I often see with models trying new poses is when they bring their elbow up and it's in front. So this is a, a big no-no because this is not a flattering angle. It just looks like I have this giant elbow or limb just hanging out in the in midair. So if anything, if you're gonna do a pose where your elbow is in the shot or you wanna create shape with your arms, you wanna make sure again that you're thinking two-dimensionally. So making sure that that full arm is in focus, never elbow forward. So once we understand what foreshortening is, we can actually use it in new and unique ways and it can give us a really artistic effect. An example of this could be, if you're a photographer, you could shoot your subject from overhead. And basically what this will do is it will make your the head look larger and it'll compress the body so that it almost gives it like a miniature effect. Or it could also be used just as like a slimming effect on the subject. So another way that you can really experiment with this in your photography is have your model reach a hand or a foot, bring a piece of fabric in front of the frame, and this will give a really unique perspective. It will also create a lot of depth in your image. So that's it for today on Foreshortening. I hope that you got something from this. I hope you learned something, and I can't wait to see the images that you produce from these tips. So make sure to get in touch with me at Nicole Romanoff Photo on Instagram or on Facebook, Nicole Romanoff Photography. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.